My wife's been asking me to make her pendants out of some slabs we picked up at a rock shop uh, oh, about three years ago. And uh, for three years I've been not making those pendants. So today is the day uh, I'm going to start these. Uh, I'm going to attempt to make groove wrap pendants, which I don't really enjoy doing. Um, I don't really like the wire work that much, but I'm going to do it for her. Uh, so I said, why don't you pick out about three uh, different slabs that you like. And so I think we might need to have a little math lesson when we get done with this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do all of these or if I'm just going to pick out about three. But uh, the plan is to make pendants. Alright, so I have my cabochons roughly cut on the saw, and then I ground the edges down on the cab machine just to the first three wheels. And now I'm going to put a groove around them. Uh, these are going to be groove wrap pendants, so there will be a piece of silver wire wrapped around uh, in a groove right around the edge here. So this is a glass cutting machine, uh, or I should say glass grinding machine. Uh, people who do stained glass use these. And the only bit that I use is this groove bit. So it's just got a little bit here. It just works like a router table uh, if you're a woodworker. And it'll make a, a groove around the edge. I'll use this piece of scrap copper wire just to test my groove to see if I've got it the right depth as I go. So here we go. Alright, so I have my groove cut in there. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to take a piece of copper wire. Uh, I'll wrap this with silver when I actually wrap it, but I just fit the wire in there and see if it fits flush. And I just sort of do that all the way around and make sure it fits flush all the way around. Uh, and then uh, when I'm all done, I can wrap it and be assured it's going to fit in there nicely.
the cabs are done. Got the grooves in the sides. And now I just have to remember how to wrap them. So I'll be using a tutorial on a website called Rock Tumbling Hobby. I'll put a link to the tutorial in the description. So if you want to make some of these yourself, uh, you can check that out. That's it, they're all done. Uh, this one's probably my favorite out of the bunch. This one or this one, they're both pretty much the same. Same kind of rock anyhow. So they look like that. Uh, there's one thing you can do different if you're making these and that's uh, separating the bale wires like that. And this is one I made for my wife a few years ago. Uh, this is Cladopora. It's a rock that we find here in Alpena. Uh, I really like this one a lot. Uh, but this one I separated and these I asked her if she wanted them split apart like that and she didn't so I left them like this. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.